camera's camera's rolling. Well, it's Shani Bonsai. Welcome back to Life with the Fletchers. I hope you're all doing well. And as soon as I started, my son started screaming in the background. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm so glad that you've joined me today because I have a fantastic fashion video for you. I went thrifting about a week ago and I was looking for some fall trends because I've been keeping up with the trend alerts this year for some reason. I usually don't do this but this year I wanted to challenge myself when I went thrifting. I wanted to see if I could find some of the fall trends at the thrift store and I think I did pretty well. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. So for my first outfit, I'm wearing this beautiful knitted shirt. I guess I wouldn't really call it a t-shirt because it's not a t-shirt. And knits are actually on trend, which I kind of feel like they come around every single year. They're not necessarily trendy pieces. But this year I noticed a lot of knitted knitwear on the runway, so that was pretty easy to find. You always find knitwear at the thrift store. And I found this beautiful light pink knitted shirt um, by Sag Harbor, which is probably a vintage brand. And this is 100% acrylic. It's actually really, really soft. And I love that it's short sleeved because now that we're going to be transitioning into the fall soon, into cooler weather, this will be the perfect um, shirt to wear when it's not extremely cold. So I paired it with my cigarette pants or my Marilyn Monroe pants <laughs> as I call them. These are also vintage and I've had these for a couple of years and I just feel like the pairing the two works really really well. It makes, you, it makes my outfit look really really sophisticated and I think this would be perfect for a day when you're just going out, be it you're going shopping, you're going to the grocery store, well most people say I'm not that casual. <laughs> this isn't really considered casual wear, but you could wear this out to lunch. You could even go to an early dinner in this outfit. And then I also paired it with my beautiful animal print sandals by A New Day. This is actually a Target brand, or rather it's a brand that works with Target. And I got these from Dirt Cheap for about five dollars. I've been really wanting to wear them so I'm definitely going to be wearing them in the fall even though they're a little bit more summery but I just kind of feel like the chunky heel which is also on trend this fall is going to work perfectly. And then I also have my vintage Armani bag which I usually bring out in the fall and winter. I don't know why. I mean this is a versatile bag. You can um use it all year round but this is definitely the season that I bring it out a lot yeah and so that's outfit number one and now let's move on to outfit number two so another trend that I saw a lot of on the runway was a mustard yellow or a true yellow and I think that actually is a great way to incorporate vibrant colors in the fall and so when I went to the thrift store, I went looking for yellow and I found this beautiful mustard dress. This is by Universal Studios and it's a very, very comfortable, um, casual dress. This one's oversized, so I'm glad that it comes with the belt. So that way you can cinch it in to give your waist a little bit more definition. This one is probably one that you're still going to find in stores at the moment because it's not a vintage dress. And another thing that I love about this dress is that it's got slits on the side, giving you some breathing room and some um, making it easy and comfortable for you to move around in it. Because this dress is sleeveless, I decided to pair it with my plaid, my brown plaid blazer, which I absolutely adore. And um, this will be perfect. I think this is the perfect pair to complement the mustard yellow, to complement the mustard color of the dress. And I just feel like putting an oversized blazer on will still give you that laid back feel, but then it's a little bit more elevated. And so I definitely do love to pair extremely casual clothing with something a little bit more structured because I feel like it takes it up a notch or elevates it a little bit more. I also decided to put on my 
beautiful velvet purple bag or rather the other way around my beautiful purple velvet bag this is a statement purse I think this just kind of gives you more of a put together feel and I also have my purple headband on which complements the bag and I think this look is complete now so let me know what you think in the comments down below I actually really really like this because it's really really casual it's like it makes you look really really effortless and really stylish without trying so this is definitely one that I'm, you're probably going to be seeing me wear a lot on this channel and yeah that's my look number two or my outfit for the yellow trend that is going to be really huge this year another trend that i saw rocking the runway for fall 2021 fall and winter 2021 is or are pastels and this one is my absolute favorite of all the trends for fall and winter 2021 because it's so soft and it's just so pretty and it just makes me really really happy so i was eager to go looking for uh, pastels at the thrift store and i was not disappointed so i found this beautiful knitted silk and cotton shirt this is actually 70 percent silk and it's 30 percent cotton and it is the softest knitwear that I've ever worn. I don't know if it's softer than cashmere, but I'm pretty happy with it. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's a lavender or a soft purple. So here's the blazer. Um, this is actually a vintage suit. It's a vintage men's suit. And I tell you, I tell you, I tried this on after I cleaned it. And I think I'm going to, um, if you'd like me to share how I clean my thrifted clothing, like clo clothing that needs to be dry cleaned, how I do that at home, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll show you how I do that in one of our um, upcoming vlogs. But would you take a look at that? <laughs> take a look at this beautiful blue pantsuit. This suit, I think this is the first suit that I found at the thrift store that I believe was made for me. I have had, I have found pretty good suits in the past and they fit pretty well, but this one, I think this one was made for Tembi because it just fits me like a glove. For one, I love the length of the arms, so definitely somebody tall probably used to wear this a tall man used to wear this because it is tailored for long arms most of the blazers that i find at the thrift store unless they're oversized uh, the arms end right above my wrist and i don't <laughs> i don't really feel comfortable in suits like that or in blazers like that they make me feel like i'm wearing something that's too small even though they fit perfectly on my torso so this is my absolute favorite suit of all time and i'm not letting go of this one anytime soon so yeah yeah and to just button this up and do you see how well the colors are going like those pastels you see the lavender with this it is oh my gosh it is divine it is divine and the pockets actually work oh it would have been nice if i found some money in there anything anything no but that's okay the suit is a winner and i just love 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 it so this is probably how i'm going to wear the suit um one of the ways that i'm going to wear the suit i love it with the lavender i think it works really really well and i've also got some lavender shoes lavender pumps that I think would work perfectly with this look at this just look at that this is like a softer purple it's a lighter purple it's almost like a gray and I'm going to just go ahead and put these on wait let me bring you down a little bit you're going to see me getting dressed this time <laughs> look at that oh my gosh people 
<sighs> my dreams are coming true. Fall fashion, oh my gosh, I am going to kill it for fall fashion. Thrifted fashion, oh, would you take a look at that. And I like that they are pointed toes because they give me that really, really nice, sleek silhouette. Very, very streamlined. I look like a boss in this. I mean, I don't care what anybody says. I'm not trying to, <laughs> I'm going to toot my own horn <laughs> for this one because this suit absolutely excites me. I feel like a boss in this. I would like to go have some business meetings in this outfit and just, you know, take charge. So, <laughs> okay, that's enough, people. That's enough. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just really excited about this. But yeah, this is the perfect suit. Now, I'm thinking what bag, handbag would work with this? Anyone would actually work. And actually, I think my vintage Omani wouldn't do so badly because it's nice and light it's um a neutral color and it's, so it's really versatile and yeah so that's my third outfit and hmm i don't even know if i want to show you the final outfit because i feel like i want to <laughs> i want to stay in this suit all day but i'll go ahead and show you the final outfit that i have for you guys and we'll call it a night <laughs> So, the last item isn't necessarily a trend, but as you can tell, it's an African print dress. It's a Chitenga dress, as we call it in Bemba. And I just couldn't resist getting this one because I happen to be African. And I'm sure you can tell from the intro of this video that I spoke to you in my vernacular language, one of the languages that we speak in Zambia. And so, yeah. So this one was a really, really great find because you don't often find um, African print dresses or African dresses, um, African print dresses at the thrift store. They're definitely rare because a lot of the times when people get them made, they get them made to fit their uh, figures. And so this one was definitely made to fit the previous owner because it's quite loose on me as you can tell it's pretty loose like even in the back but for me what i'm thinking about doing is i'm just going to cinch it in my waist so that way it can give off that fitted look and so i'm just putting on this beautiful brown oh no that's my judah i think he's ready for me to get out there yeah, I'm going to put on this beautiful brown belt and that just changes everything, doesn't it? It looks absolutely fabulous. I love, love, love this dress and I'm so glad that I came across it because <sighs> it's hard to pass up. It's really, really hard to pass up. Let me show you the bottom right quick. So it's actually a maxi African print dress which makes it perfect for the fall months. And something that I do love about African printed dresses or African material is that it's usually really, really thick. So it's definitely going to keep me warm in the cooler months. And yeah, I can wear this to church. I can wear this at an outing. I can wear it to a wedding. And I'm thinking about pairing it with my blazer because this blue blazer that I had, the suit blazer, my favorite blazer of all time, I think. <laughs> because I think the colors pair real. Oh, would you take a look at that? This is effortless. I love the contrast. This is actually striped. It's like it's got vertical stripes. And then the dress is patterned as well. But because the stripes aren't so um, out there, they're not in your face. I think the two pair really, really well. Oh my gosh, I need to look in the mirror just to see. Oh, I absolutely love, love, love this. So now let me bring you up right quick so you can see my face. This is awesome. This is absolutely fabulous. Now, 
I didn't pick out any shoes for this, but this could go with my um, lavender shoes that I had on with the suit. I think they pair really, really well. It's not too much color going on. This would also really good look good with some blue shoes, some blue heels, pointed toe heels. And I can even pick out any color out of this dress, like the lime green at the bottom or yeah, the lime green right there. Or I could go for an orange heel. I mean, you can never go wrong with black sandals or some nude sandals. I think it would look really, really fabulous. And now I'd like to go to a wedding. Who's getting married? Well, I don't have any friends that are getting married in the fall. Bummer. But this would be nice even just to, you know what? I might wear this to my sister-in-law's baby shower. <laughs> Rachel, if you're watching this, I'm going to be over the top as your baby shower because I want to be able to wear this somewhere, girl. So, and yes, I can wear this to church. I could probably wear this to church while well, it's going to be like 97 degrees on Sunday. So, I don't think I need to be wearing this on a really, really hot summer day. But this is the final outfit and we've come to the end of today's video i hope you really enjoyed it i enjoyed styling all these clothes for you and one thing that is just so fun about thrifting is you never know what you're going to find and then when you do find what you're looking for it just makes it so so fulfilling for me it's so fulfilling when i'm able to find the pieces that i'm looking for especially if they're specific because a lot of the times when i go thrifting i i'm specific specific in a sense but i never go looking for trends like i'm i'm not the type to go looking for what's trending because i usually go for things that speak to me or, or items that are classic or timeless in the long run and a lot of these pieces are definitely timeless if not all of them and so i'm going to wear them for years and years to come god willing yeah but it, this is amazing this is now my favorite thrift haul at the moment or yet and <laughs> let me know what you guys think let me know if I did a really good job and if you'd like to see more of these videos please give this one a thumbs up because it helps um, this channel out and it's definitely going to help the algorithm get it out to more people so they can also get to enjoy this video as well and if you haven't already subscribed please do so we'd really really appreciate it we'd love for you to join our family and until next time I hope you all have a blessed evening Love you guys. Bye.